I usually have eggs for breakfast. It's usually like eggs and avocado toast or eggs and peanut butter toast. Um, but I had, I did not feel like cooking eggs this morning when I woke up. So I had yogurt and peanut butter toast. So now I'm having eggs and cottage cheese as a snack. I've been taking, you can't even see me. Okay. I've been taking um, ritual postnatal pills because, or multivitamins because, mainly because I have been experienced experiencing postpartum hair loss. And I know it's normal. I know it's a thing that will hopefully pass. But before I was trying to get pregnant, I was, or when I was trying to get pregnant, I was experiencing really bad hair loss. And I think it's partly because I have PCOS. So it just kind of made me feel uneasy. So I'm trying to really watch what I eat for the most part. I'm really just trying to teach my body to eat intuitively. But I am taking these um, ritual postnatals. Also trying to get in lots and lots of protein for a little snack. And then we're gonna go and run some errands. We're going to um, go to UPS and send back my license plate and my husband's license plate to the state that we moved from so we don't get fined and they don't think we're driving around without insurance. And then what else we were gonna do? Oh, just go to the bank. So very casual, nothing huge. Mm. Pretty good with cottage cheese. I don't like a ton of cottage cheese because then it just, the tech, like the texture's not bad. It's the curdiness that kind of gets me, but it's not bad with like a little bit and something else. Yesterday I tried rice cakes and cottage cheese on it and it wasn't. It was too much cottage cheese. Like if I did it again, I'd want to add some berries and then I would want to put less cottage cheese on it. Hey Bubba. Hey Bubba. You're a cutie patootie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that silly? Is that silly? Are you gonna run errands with mama? I'm gonna have to carry the whole car seat in with Buddy in it because Okay, I got Jimmy John's because lunch I planned took some cooking and I realized I was getting hangry and we had a DoorDash gift card that we haven't used since being here. So it's essentially free for me. Baby Bear is sleeping and I am going to watch some YouTube and just enjoy this time. To eating and getting my blood sugar back up because it's still low before Bear wakes up in probably about 15 minutes or less. Bear has always been straight, but with like a slight wave. Okay, <laughs> did not finish my lunch yet, but that's okay. Cause it's almost your lunch time. <laughs> he has a big smile on his face. Um, so I'm just gonna finish eating and feed him. And then we'll see what we can get done together. I really need a meal prep. So hopefully you will let me do that. Um, if not, I'll just put him in my carrier and hold him and meal prep and it'll get done. It will get done. Mommy time.
try to roll over. We have now made it to the carrier. Oh, hi. <laughs> and he loves, he loves a good carrier time. A little good carry time. This is um, my Maybe brand, not my Maybe brand. It's the Maybe brand and it is my carrier. And then I wanted to show, these are little suck pads because he will sometimes suck just right here and it's easy just to pop these off and put in the wash instead of the whole thing. Um, but I just thought they were really cute. Let's see, it's really cute. From Etsy. If you just Google or go on Etsy some suck pads, you can see all sorts of different designs and there's different makers and all of that. So it's a bit ironic that I was just showing you some suck pads that I had that I can just throw those in the wash instead of throwing the whole baby carrier in the wash if he like sucked on um, the sides because when I was cleaning the kitchen, he had a blowout. And at first I like smelled it and thankfully he was just in his diaper. And I say thankfully because then I didn't have to worry about clothes also being washed because it was, it was gonna go through. Um, but I started to smell, I was like, oh, it smells like a poopy diaper. And then as I put my hand on his back to like kind of take him out so that it doesn't, cause again, in the carrier, it's like he's pressed up against me. So if it's a lot of poo, it's gonna come out, even if it wouldn't otherwise. So when I put my hand on his back to see, to get him out, it felt warm and I was like, oh, that's it. So I'm like walking like, like this. I had him like this and I was like walking like this down the hallway and he, I like got him out but it just like started dripping from the carrier. It, it was a lot. I'm not gonna go into the whole scene. Let's just say it was a lot of poop. And I had to like clean it up and clean up the floor and clean him up. And one fun fact, if you, or like mom hack, if you have a stain of any sort, put cold water on it and put it outside in the sun to bleach it. I got that tip from my sister-in-law and it is an amazing hack. And so I'm, the carrier's outside doing that right now. And then I put him down for a nap and he's doing a good job going back, going to sleep on his own. Okay, I'm going to end the video here because honestly I'm exhausted and it's only the afternoon <laughs> and I'm trying to maximize as much as I can get done around the house while Bear is asleep so I hope you enjoyed it um, every day with a baby it's hard to predict exactly what you are gonna get done or what you need to get done because things happen and that's part of the joy of having a little one and it, it truly is a joy um it's just a learning curve and so yeah I, I'm so tired I can't even think straight so anyway subscribe and I will see you next time